I just looked at a picture of my ex's tits and it made me sad. Welcome back to Bonding. This isn't the whole podcast. This is just a promo for the road dates and I bummed myself out. I'm in a hotel room in Ireland. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Like a radio DJ that has these shingles. We're here to promote all of Troy Bond's live dates. Also, thank you for tuning back in. If this sounds like shit, it's because I'm recording this part on my phone. Uh, My mixer and everything. Well, you'll hear that part a little bit later with a sweet old lady named (gasps) Tori Cole. Um, But first, Papa's got a... Why did I... Oh, man, I couldn't even let that sentence come out. But first, Papa's got to plug some road dates. Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I have to do these and talk. I have to not scream them. I will be in Grand Rapids, Michigan doing stand-up comedy and a little bit of blackface. On March 28th, 29th, and 30th, Portland, Oregon, April 4th, 5th, and 6th, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Couldn't control myself, could you, Troy? April 7th, that one you really had to sell and you had to just act like a crackhead. Philadelphia, I will be there. Oh, West Philadelphia, April 18th, 19th, 20th, that's 420. Come here, Chris Rock, I'm going to smack the shit out of you. Um... That was Will Smith saying that. I mean, I can't believe he's in Ireland, too. And uh, Tempe, Arizona, April 25th, 26th, 27th. Get tickets at TroyBondLive.com. Welcome back to Bonding. We start you off with a brand new episode right now. Troy Bond has huge balls. Welcome back to the Cash, Grass, and Ass podcast. Your number one news network for all the above. I'm your host, Tug McGruffsky, joined by Stupid... Stupid. Hey guys, we're back. We missed you so much. You made that hat yourself. I know. How did you do that? Uh, Printful.com. So you didn't make it. A Taiwanese child did. Who knows who made it? I thought when you said you made it that you were like, like yeah. No, 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 I ordered it. Like the guy who. I um, made the logo and then I picked the hat and then I printed I got it printed. That counts. Okay. I I made it. You Trump towered that hat. Yeah, show me your nails to go with this chipper, cheerful podcast. I accidentally uh, painted my same nails as the Diet Coke. It works if you want to be a loser. It was an accident. For Lexapro. It's okay. Well, whatever. I thought it was fun and different, and then it's aluminum gray, but what are you going to do? It's weird that that's even an option. Well, there's every option. Why? Like, somebody goes in and they go, I want first-time jizz beige. exactly. They have that? They have that. They want labia red. Yep. Have that. They want Tory Cole White. Yep. You keep going. Um, whites only. White. Yep. Mm-hmm. All these colors, I'm assumed, are separated from the whites. Yes. They're in the back. I got a manicure one front. time. You did. I did. Let's hear your nose. I don't know now. if I started the clock. By the way. You did. I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Good. A lot of good that clock does. There's a clock behind us, guys. Whoever's yeah, we listening. do. Well, uh, just take this. Watching. We started at five minutes. Oh, we're not going to start yet. We started. We started? We started at five minutes. Hey, guys. You said that already. You did the, all of this <laughs> two minutes ago. What, you see, this me? is what happens did when you, you look me? at numbers. Did you miss me? No. You were right down did the street. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? No. Did you guys miss us? Comments. Yes, they like, did. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Give me a reason to. They didn't miss okay, the neediness. Me, you've been on the You road. started a podcast. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Did it go out yet? No. Your hot takes? So I, I filmed, That's where you just talk I, about your Holocaust one denial. And I d- never hit record on the mixer. And then That's I, a big part of doing a podcast. Yeah, big part. You want to hit record? You want to put and it then out. And I recorded again, and the sound was the the mixer was on like eight, two, so the audio sounds really bad. And then I That's recorded just your voice. Another, another one, and, <laughs> and I never had the, the, the camera focus because I had it on manual. And then I recorded another one, and it really looked bad because I f- couldn't figure out the camera again. You would assume it's like I never took it on the road, and uh, th- it's a different setting here. And I also had to do it myself, and then back time away. differences. And uh, so yeah, I think I've recorded three or four episodes that are mostly garbage, and I don't know how to edit them. I tried to sync the audio and the video, and it uh, I pulled the SD card too early. Guys, this is hard work. Troy has done all of this for two years. Well, with me, but four, well, five, well, and it's very impressive. I did the heavy lifting I'd like here. To give you I, all let's the be credit. clear: there are many episodes. I'd like to give you so much I credit because it's not easy. Thank you. That's I what learned I wanted. That the hard I way. wanted that more than anything. No, Just credit. Every time, whether I deserved I fuck it or up, not, I think of you and I'm like, wow, he really does all of this. 
Not well. There's a lot. No one's posting their failures. No, but I will talk about it. I mean, I changed well, the name to Tori Stupid Podcast because it's so stupid. It's all stupid. That wasn't the original I name? I don't even know. It was going to be Hot Takes, and then I f- kept failing. I just oh, like, this is yeah. all stupid. And now I just k- kind of stuck. But I've been trying for like a month and a half now. It's so hard. I want to launch on April Fool's Day. That's fair. You right? You're the poster child for April Fool's. And then, but I it's need just a, your I need SpongeBob step. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You need one episode in order yeah. to get it out. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You need at least one episode. It doesn't though. look like shit. The biggest part to doing a podcast is good. putting it out there. Yeah, so that's step one. Thank you for letting me rant about how hard it's been to start a podcast. I know you've dug so much <laughs> into your ankle that it's bleeding. <laughs> With your aluminum nails. It looks grayish. Red and aluminum put together makes grayish. Oh, I like that. I don't know why I had to say it's so gay. These are literally fresh socks. I bought them right before I got here. You have your life together. That's the illusion as you start at the foot. You did it. Did what? (laughs) Put on clean socks? You look like you got it all together. I don't. I forgot to rinse the conditioner out of my hair, and that's why I'm wearing a hat. Are you going to wear that to Gotham? Yeah. You always wear hats. Wearing a hat, we're hat people now. We're hat people. Is that you, as Patrick? Oh, okay, so you're back from Texas. You were in Texas, to Texas the last two weekends. It's great. I thought you were there like every weekend. I was there two weekends, which is every weekend if you're only and alive for two weeks. That, was that your first time back on the road? Was uh, Texas in a little while? Were you there I went before somewhere that? before that. I forgot. I know. Where. I'm forgetting. Syracuse. Too. I went upstate. Oh, for the college. For the college. Hamilton. Yeah. They're smart. Great school. Very, I mean, they hired me. That shows you how smart these liberal artsies Geniuses. are. Did you, did you talk we had about a great time. Stuff? Did I talk about what? Like, poli- like politics. I was like, you guys want to talk sex? Let's do it. I'll answer your questions. Um, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you talk about with the college kids? I feel like I would really alter myself in a weird way to fit their little box, and they'd be like, what's wrong with this person? No, it's the, o- the hardest part about doing college shows now is – it's not even a hard thing. It's just like, a, oh, I'm getting older thing. Where it used right. to be like, oh, I'm so close to these kids in age that it's just like going up and talking to my friends. Mm-hmm. Where like, not that I'm much older than them now, but like I'm 28. <laughs> so, which means you have how many? 30. Boom, years. right for the throat. You have 30 years on yeah. them. All right. Uh, Tori's geriatric. That's how long <laughs> it's been since we put out an episode. Uh, <laughs> but we we had a good time. It They... Uh, they had just had, or the person that booked me was telling me about them having Namesh Patel up there, which immediately oh. put me at ease because I was like, oh, he's great. I love that dude. And they told me that uh, in his writer, he, he asked for a framed picture of LeBron James. As a joke? They got it, and they put it <laughs> in the green room. It was so funny. I saw, I heard that, and I was like, that's amazing. Because they were like, they, they, they were like, we have all this stuff in the back uh, like your writer asked. And I was like, I have a writer? Uh well, your writer, you've always it's had just one Red Bull like and Red water Bull that was in there. Yeah, Red but Bull like and water and chips. <laughs> I didn't have chips. They're usually stale. <laughs> well, they the clubs, but I think they're like, well, get some chips. And they like get them from a basement somewhere. There's, there's something needs to soak up all this Red Bull. Otherwise, <laughs> the wings are going to come out of his ass. Uh, but no, we had a great time at, uh, that, at, at, at Hamilton. Then I went. The thing that, that was weird or that sucked or I didn't really plan ahead for was uh, I was supposed to. I flew up there, um, which wasn't long. It's was like an hour flight mm. from the city to here. And then when I landed, I was like, oh, man, I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like, Syracuse, Syracuse is all, like, native land. Like, yeah. it's all empty and farmy, and there's one casino, and uh, there's there's just really nothing going on. So it reminded me a lot of where I grew up in Opium Town. Um, but I we got up there, and the Uber driver picked me up and was like, hey, bro, uh, your hotel is 50 minutes away. I'm not going to have a ride back. Like, what do we want to do? And I was like, I'll pay you for the ride back, man. Like, whatever. And then we were, like, negotiating. And then it took two numbers to get him to a number. And then I was like, wow, you are a bitch. But he was actually a really cool guy. And then we were in the car. I was thinking, I have to get on a 6 a.m. flight to Dallas tomorrow. And we're oh, in the so middle you, of nowhere. So you hit him up again? You're like, you I hit him back? up again. And I, I gave him the same You're amount. personal driver. You, he, yeah, he was like, you want to, he, he had a great story. He was like from a, he came from money in India mm-hmm. and then met his wife up there at upstate, moved to the States because she wanted to have her, you know, she wanted to have a kid here. 
and now he lives here and left like all the money behind and like drives for Uber and uh it's weird because I don't think of myself as anybody, but then they're like, you have Instagram, I'll follow you, whatever. Because at first I put up the smoke screen. I don't tell anybody I do stand-up. I know, it's like that guy in uh, Wisconsin. What? What? That we bonded with, and then he found you, and then he... Yeah, he talks shit on my Facebook because you forgot to tip him. Yeah, it's on me. And then I sent him $10 Yes, I hope he deleted his comment, but probably didn't. On my own post, Tori and I took an Uber in Wisconsin... (laughs) Uh, we were in Appleton, and this guy, uh, I was he, he was really nice to us. And if nice. Obi's listening, fuck you, um, <laughs> <laughs> because I posted something on my page like, "Oh, I'm in Wisconsin. I hope you guys uh, come through." And he was like, "This guy couldn't even tip me." And then I immediately went, "Tori!" <laughs> like, I was uh, like, "My bad." But we tipped him Did on the I way back, that? and I don't know if he deleted the comment under my dying post. But we sold off a bunch of tickets for those shows. Yeah, I almost said sold out, but that wouldn't have been accurate. Was fun. I had a great I just time. A video I had a viral that. clip from Wisconsin, which was but nice. I set up the camera. Yeah, that's why I was so shaky. <laughs> no, they were people were pounding the table because you were you were killing so hard. Nice save. Yeah, no, really, I said stop doing that. <laughs> the amount of times I've had people stop. People I just from, can't take a compliment. My confidence is gone with your with your camera on, and I'm like, don't do that. I like play like angry mom. It's Thank really you. Really hard. Well, there that happened go. in. Uh, in at Blue Room Comedy Club, we had your camera on the back uh, wall that they had built for Matt Roy. <laughs> Missouri, what an interesting Missouri. place. I don't think that place should be legal, to be honest with you. Was Missouri really was interesting. It felt like a fake world. That only it. characters from Animal Farm ran. <laughs> like, it was so... I, I left, I, when we came home, it was I cozy. And I love Blue Room. I'll go back there any time. That's how they put us in. Oh, gorgeous. That balcony. balcony. Looking out over oh my Missouri. God. The club I love so a good balcony. By. Everyone that worked We walked there to the club, right? Us. It was like a behind yeah. the hotel. Yeah. And we bonded with everyone there. And they were like, you're so nice to us. I'm like, who do, who do you normally deal with? They're like, thank you for being kind to us. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm so sorry that this isn't the norm. Yeah, I was gonna say, who's rolling through on you, dog? Uh, <laughs> we're just, that? They were so yeah, like I still talk to people from Missouri. Same I get Jesse life updates. Shout out Jesse Ann. Yeah, shout out Jesse. That's one of the people I yeah, talk yeah, to too. No, I don't feel sweet. special. Oh, um, sorry. No, thank you. We're both special. I, w- I, I probably don't talk to her as much as you do. I would say, like, reply to stories or like stories. And she hit me up because, uh, Blue Room posted a National Women's Day post, and I was. She was like, "I know one of those." I was in one of the photos. Oh, you were? She sent it to me. It was very sweet. Oh, uh, you'll be there as an opener one day. I foresee you. I mean, um. <laughs> 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 wow! I, another one I just nailed <laughs> came through. It just comes out of you. Uh, yeah, I, I could do that again. I, I mean, if you go back, I'll, I'll follow you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to go there line. alone. I would not want to go there alone. That was Missouri is a place that's. Uh, most of the places in the South, I'd like to go with a friend if I'm there for a yeah, good chunk yeah. of time. Like, I mean, if I go to Florida now, and I probably won't ever bring you because I just got Will Diamond. Shout out Willie D. But he doesn't tell jokes. I know. Saves money oh, on the flight. Just, oh, I get it. You just have a buddy. Yeah. I'm just a buddy. Yeah. I get it. I've done the furthering and growth for your career I get now. It. You're preparing. You're, pre- you're you're going in your own shows. You're doing I'm your trying, headliner. I bring you. I'll bring you along as much. If you listen, when have you ever asked me if you can go on the road? And I said no. Never. Ever. Well, I mean, maybe once. That's maybe. that's far from never. But, uh, Pick a lane. You could have just gone with never. I love, yes, I am on a journey. I'd like to grow on my own, but there's nothing like a sold-out Troy Bond show. I'll say it. I'll say it again. There is nothing like a sold-out Troy Bond show. It is so fun. She said it again, folks. And a show's so nice, you got to say it twice. And, we had a great... Uh, I'd like to think I'll get there one day, but I don't know. And I just am really grateful for what you've shared with me. Well, so it's... thank you. You make it easy. It's a blast. That was always the plan was to get somewhere and then share it with my friends. I never planned on doing any of this alone. It's no fun doing it alone. Yeah. It's you also no fun when How you was it though? You had some fun, right? Where? In Texas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like a general career thing. Like yeah. when you do it alone, like you build up a great team of people and maybe you're surrounded by some good celebrities or you're surrounded by people who get points and clicks. But when you work and, and, and are surrounded by friends all the time, there's two really good sides to it. One, if they're really good friends, they will pull the balloon back down when it needs to be in reality. (laughs) They hopefully won't yank it. I said tall. (laughs) I yank lands someone in a cold shower. Uh, and two, you, it's like working with family, you know, like 
it's the best thing in the world. And wow. it's it also cuts so many corners and makes things so much more productive when you have that relationship with the people that you're working with, like oh. who are like your brothers or your sisters or your cousins or your uh, doxing hotel buddies, you know? Totally. like yeah. I mean, the shared experiences we have, we have so many over the course of just the year that we toured. And it's like, that, that's when you grow with someone and we have so many. And it's like, we, I f- oh, did you burp? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's another shared experience. I thought I blew it over I this way. <laughs> Anyways, but I, the, ranch, the cute little rant I was Chipotle. going on before I ate your burp was... Uh, that could have timed out was better. So <laughs> that was so gross. Oh, I tried to... Bl- I blew it this way. It's not my fault you're in my equator. I hated that. A burp is not long. You're the one who came into my frame. I did. I was leaning in to show you love and gratitude. And you timed it out poorly. You like baby bird me that fucking burp. Um, There's people paying or who are watching this right now that pay good money for one of those. Jar it up. Well, I don't know what I was saying, but something about shared experiences. Shared experiences, experiences and we just had one. <laughs> <laughs> we just shared and, more than experience. And how you grow with someone with those experiences, especially first times. Those are always really special. The amount of first times we had in new cities, new clubs. What was the worst first time you ever had? Worst first time? Like ever in life? Of anything, yeah. The day I lost my virginity. I knew <laughs> you were going to say that. And for most people, I think that's probably true. Oh, you're kidding. It wasn't that bad. I really loved my boyfriend, so that's cool. Um, what was it? The uh, In high school? Yeah. That's a normal. Uh, that's when I lost mine. Still haven't found him. Yeah. Ooh. I was 17. It was New Year's Eve, and I was in love with this French girl. No, Um. no, I never nailed her. (laughs) If you're listening, shout out Amelie. Um, I think she's dating some dude in France now. Congratulations. (laughs) Uh, But no, I that was a joke. I had sex twice in high school. Once was New Year's Eve. I was in love with this girl. Yeah, I was. (laughs) I was busy putting a career on the table. You were. You started this year. Yeah, you're. You're lucky. I only fucked twice. And both of them weren't that good. Otherwise, I would have had a taste for it. Oh, Young. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be sitting here with this podcast. No, I'd be pro. sitting on some <laughs> woman's face. Taint and all. Um, but no, I her name, I was in love with this girl. And we dated my sophomore year. Mm. And then I kind of didn't really appreciate her. And we broke mm. up. And then, mm. why'd you give that look? I mm. didn't appreciate her. That's hard. Doesn't feel like it with your empathy levels right now. Mm. Didn't appreciate I'm her. That's hard. empathetic. Not if you play the last 30 seconds back. (laughs) (laughs) Don't fuck yourself, (laughs) pal. Continue on. I wish I could burp right now. No, please. Um, She. Anyway, long story short, (laughs) junior year, I started falling for her again, and she wasn't giving me the time of day, but like we were still hanging. We were hanging around all the time. Hanging out, I guess they called it back then. Uh, And then we. New Year's Eve, I slept with her best friend on Troy. a mattress in the same basement she was in, like s- eight spite feet away. Friend. Didn't spite fuck. I drunk fucked. It was my first time drunk. and You were drunk your first time you lost? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And then the second time I had sex, I was, was too. So it was the bad. day the Boston Marathon bombing happened. Oh. It was uh, uh, under a trampoline. I had nothing under to do with, th- with the bombing cool. because I was fucking... Uh, yeah, and then I stole like a block of cheese from the house, and I woke up the next morning on the trampoline in the cheese. That's funny. Yeah. And you still wake up covered in food at 28. With no ass. <laughs> no ass, but I got, because I, I got two hands like, full of Taco Bell. <laughs> That's how we do it. Listen, when the apocalypse hits, Whoa. you're going to be worried about forks and knives. My bed is going to double as My a taco. My on the road waking up and looking over at Troy in the other bed, to clarify, and he's covered in Skittles. <laughs> You always have Skittles. How many times or has that happened? Or a pizza just on your chest. Because <laughs> I don't sleep and my brain's no, no, going it gets into... It better. It gets better. The best is when you, <laughs> still, you still have your mic on. Oh, yeah. You got your lav mic on. It's connected to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those mornings are not great <laughs> when you wake up and you have hey, to untangle you yourself. You are asleep and I'm like, thank God he's getting some Z's in. Yeah, those it's are my favorite moments. I miss those moments. Well, there's more coming. You're right. Thank you. Sorry. But I'm getting all yeah, you're acting things. like this happened 30 years ago. I told you I we know, were talking we like a month ago. I said we were like, <laughs> yeah, we were. And I was like, we're talking to each other like cops that got shot. 
And I was putting away my groceries, being like, yeah, those were good times two weeks ago. <laughs> Feels like it was 14 right. days you're ago. Right, you're right, you're right. But now this gives you a chance to go out and explore and do some. You're you know, building I things just, on your own. You're I'm doodling, doodle thing. bob. And I, well, the doodle was a was a mental. I was manic for like a month. I think. Are you still doodling? <laughs> I just with with balance. I'm doodling with balance. Well, I don't. I mean, there's a thin line between manic and. Uh, I had a manic episode and I doodled for a month. Wow, <laughs> Doctor Phil, please help my daughter. She can't stop drawing perfect circles. I mean, now I, you I mean, you didn't I go on the road like and you start doodles. You, you drew eighty <laughs> doodles. And Tori, we got a little school for you to go to. If you look at my camera, we'll it's just called doodles. "Why Pencils Have Erasers," and we're just gonna hang the, take these all off the fridge. I'm still doodling. Just not as no, no, that's not okay. Rate. You can't I'm microdose the doodle. You just made yourself look so much better than me by doing that. See, because that's I'm a good friend. Yeah, you are. Want to talk about yourself a little more? <laughs> so mean. Smells kind of good, actually. Yeah, I wish I could burp right now. I'll give you the best of both worlds. That's like the Hannah Montana song. You get the best. So <laughs> her <laughs> mom. Fucked her daughter's husband. Oh, there's drama there? There's like Noah Cyrus. Uh, one of the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, uh, let's see what it is. Hold on, because someone was explaining this to me the other night. Um, and I was like, wait, what? Like, uh, prison break is involved somehow. Uh, Miley Cyrus' mom. She was just on a podcast. Um, like Jay Shetty or something. Okay, like yeah, there's dating drama. Uh... Okay, so Miley Cyrus family scandal after mom Tish married daughter Noah's former That's fling. That's disgusting. Tish Cyrus, who is Is he a lot younger? Her mom. That's the thing right now. Yeah. Like she's Tish 54 and he's 24. Ew, that's wait, a- wait, 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 wait. A source told Fox News Digital 54 that Purcell. Wait, who's Purcell? Tish and Purcell. Sounds like a shampoo brand. Cyrus Tish. I don't know who that is. Tish Cyrus. I don't know who the fuck these people are. I don't know what's going on. Who is, who is Miley and who is Hannah? Um, Letitia Jean Cyrus Purcell. Okay, so that's Miley's mom. And she is 54 and Noah is 24. So her new husband, her new boyfriend. That's wild. I don't know. If I mean, I do like an older woman. They all look too, less ta- like, like her sister. dramatic. Yeah, I mean... Kristen from uh, the hills. So I guess her and Billy Ray got divorced. TikToker. Is, a- is he achy breaky heart guy? Yeah. Yeah. This is one hit one. Don't go my heart, my achy breaky heart, and don't fuck a twenty four year old. Life is weird, man. Especially if you're out here just chopping down trees in half and climbing up the the apple branch, like she was. Is that what she was doing? I don't know. It sounds like it. Whatever. She should. By herself at that point in your life that's like chill. isn't that when women hit their sexual prime like these no it's 30s 30s yeah which side of the 30s early 30s I think it's 30 30s 30? I think it's 30, 30 you have a good year and then it's all whatever. is that what happened to you in Miami <laughs> okay um I think I don't subject know subject change I don't know how I don't know how it all works I don't know what sound that was but I hope it fit for whatever we just played do you want some headphones no I like it better raw dogging I also don't know if um, if it's playing the secret identity Sound sounds board, or soundboard. I knew I shouldn't have done that to you. Sorry, I like buttons. We had so much fun when we first started this. Yeah, That's and then you episode. were like, "I don't want to wear the headphones. It's a dunst cap." Now I'm a <laughs> really now I well, I would have brought over a second pair, but that was all that was playing in my I head. Headphones. All the clips are me yelling at you in I this got show. Headphones for my stupid podcast. I know, that but I don't, I, I don't think they're do. gonna fit. These are these got bigger holes. Big holes. Yeah, you you have a little tiny hole over there in your Walkman. Oh. I'm turning this way in case I burp. That's nice of you. All right, do you want to talk about the road more? <sighs> no said we'll get into it on the podcast. What do you want to know? Texas oh, was... <laughs> so gross. What did you eat today? Chipotle. Oh, I hated that. Which I now pronounce correctly. Chipotle. Chipotle. Mm-hmm. Chipotle. That's what old people say. Oh, this Chipotle. is the wheat bed. Uh-oh. I'm going to go into detail about that. What? The weed pen? No, Chipotle. What they just gave order? me this. What's your Chipotle order? Veggie bowl. I guess. Veggie bowl. There's no protein. You gotta gotta grow these muscles. Thanks, Granny. <laughs> that college check didn't come yet. Um, I'm cutting down my meat. Why? 
I'm getting older, my stomach's not working the way it used mm-hmm. to. Okay. Meat's the problem? Red meat, I think. Okay. I'm like down to like meat on days I work out. No more sal- cal- carbonated drinks on the pod. That's what I'm learning. I Maybe do, have you been in going to Equinox? No, I've been on the road. Can I just be you? I should walk in there like I'm Troy Bond. They walk it. They have a thing that scans your app. You can come. I have the guest passes. You really? want to come this week? Well, you were in the office. I'm in the office. <laughs> just sitting there getting fat. I know. I feel that. They say sitting, you will die. Sitting is the new cigarettes. <laughs> sitting, you will die. I'm and kidding. Lincoln was like, that ain't going to happen. I'm going to watch this play. I'm and then kidding. boom, shot in the head. <laughs> Same thing JFK. He died sitting. <laughs> <laughs> just boom right there if he was standing he would have been fine because he could have outran the bullet that's what they say sitting is the new cigarettes eric b has a joke about that <laughs> i think uh well it feels like that i hate sitting it gets me all anxious i say sitting causes anxiety so i'm at work all day i love to getting sit all fucking anxious. fuck all this standing bullshit sometimes i'll be in the middle of a show being like i wish i could sit down you like could. these people well, dave Chappelle. Well, i'm not that cool. great my thing you are very good nothing i'm saying is that poetic stand up is very good Why'd you say my stand up? That felt like a, I think your stand up is very good. You as a person, your insides are rotten, pal. But your stand up <laughs> is very good, and that's why your insides are rotten. I wanted to really drive You're my just home. shooting out cigars. You could sit. You're that good. It doesn't. I don't. I've so saying you're not that good is actually really rude to all of the sold out shows and the people in those seats. Fuck you. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? I don't know. I'm just saying, don't say you're bad because then you're insulting your fans. How many Jay Shetties did you watch today? I watched them just all day, every day. Imagine the greatness you could unlock if you hated yourself a little bit more. I think I do. I believed that. Yeah, <laughs> I think I do. I could. I just need to be more. What I do you hate about yourself and why? Um, do you hate yourself as a concept or do you hate individual con- things about I yourself? I think as a concept, I'm great. So but, there's uh, individual things you don't like about yourself. Individual things. Such as? Uh, I, I could be more fit. I could be... You could, I could, you could my, also do blackface. I but could like use my time more wisely. I think I spend too much time scrolling. No, well, John Lennon said, time you enjoyed wasting is not time wasted. He also said, women also are the Sammy niggers Adams of the world. He so. said, time isn't wasted when you're oh, getting no. wasted. How did that... Did we just get an ad for... Yeah, I don't pay for... I don't pay for fucking YouTube. It skipped, actually. Sammy Adams. Time isn't wasted when you're getting wasted. That's another one. Bars. Anyways, Who's I Who's Sammy Adams? The guy w- from the beer? He, yeah, no, he's the rapper from Boston that was cool. He was saying, I love college. Remember that song? Sounds like a dork. That was my time. Nerd! Guys, do you remember that song? Marge, listen Comment to this dork. If you remember he that wrote a song. song about school. Because it was a hit. Uh, homie, nothing wrong with our education. It is when you put it on at 4 by 4 Beep. Those are my biggest insecurities. Oh, look at I Tori think. pretending she's so much better than us by covering her mouth. Oh, I'm Tori. I went to college. What do you hate most about yourself? Everything. Want to start at the top? Like alphabetically? Yeah. Attitude. B. Big old cock. C. Cock too big. <laughs> D. Dick so big be hurting my back. E. Enormous genitals. <laughs> Fuck them some big ass balls, boy. Oh, G. God damn, boy, your balls is long. H. Hell, did your balls just touch the toilet water? <laughs> I have never seen balls that big before. <laughs> Just imagine how much pain them balls be causing <laughs> you walking around with those all day. Okay. Kill yourself if your balls <laughs> is any smaller than this guy's is what I would be thinking if I saw no. him in the sauna. Love me some <laughs> big ass balls. <laughs> <laughs> more money, more people looking at your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing compared to big cock. Oh. oh my God, look at that cock. P. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Query, sir. <laughs> Have you ever seen balls this big? Uh, <laughs> Ridiculous how many them balls is getting. Oh my god, S. Should be illegal to have a cock that big. Li- <laughs> <laughs> Troy Bond has huge balls. <laughs> Uranium ain't got nothing on Troy's dick. V. Victoria ain't never seen a dick like mine. X. Xavier. Charles, his head looks like one of Troy's balls. Who's Xavier? Charles Xavier. Who's that? He founded the X Men. 
And he's bald. Why? Why does Tori still do this podcast? (laughs) (laughs) Because of Troy's balls. (laughs) That was beautiful. That was stunning. The tears are going to make this a clip. (laughs) That was great. I feel like I'm I just like put you through like a ten minute face fucking. There was I got to like L and I was like, don't do this anymore. <laughs> I know I broke you. Yeah, I know, that I should like, be used as a study. I, I can't stop now. You wound up the dog. Honestly, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Did I do that right? Do what the Did alphabet? I get everything right. Yeah, that's good. That was really good. That's you really yes good. and did really well. That's really good. I I think I could have messed that up because I have to sing the alphabet to get it right sometimes. I know if the answer went on and too long, you just it. went J. <laughs> <laughs> this is for me now. So I'm sorry about your big dick. I've been praying for be it. Really <laughs> <laughs> With one eye open. Well, that's tough. Uh, I get through, like, my problem is I get through halfway, like, a, uh, I get halfway through, like, a self-help book. Then I'm like, mm-hmm. this is enough. And then you read your Dark Knight again. <laughs> I haven't read that. Got it. It's uh, a novelization well, of the movie. It. Again. It's actually an expansion. Whatever. In world. I'm, I'm reading You Are a Badass again, so I can't even judge. What's, I, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to be seen in public reading one of those. I know. It's on my bed. Because you don't want to go outside with I it. I can't have a guy over and see oh, that. Oh, well, I'd I mean, if I, was a dude I thought you were going to say, I can't have a guy over until I finish this. <laughs> oh, I've read it already. Yeah, I guess but I that is not the factor in you getting fucked. It'd actually be really funny if you went to a girl's house and you just had the most chaotic slew of books. There was a comic like, I used to respect until I went to his house and he had a shitload of Tony Robbins books. Like, you I think left? every time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, man. Was it Adam Glenn? <laughs> No, but he is tight with Robbins. That's a cool friendship. Because Glenn at least was like, all right, I drank the Tony Robbins tea. And there's a lot of benefit to it. I don't think there's anything wrong with self-help. I'm just so self-hating that I'm like, enough. You just hate your your big dick too much. And that's called the through line. Look at that. Are you proud of me? I was when you got to the Q. No, that was mandatory. I was like, she's not going to make it past R. (laughs) And then boom, hit me with a Q. That was poetic. Or the other way around. Um, did you stick to your, any of your New Year's resolutions? What were they? I don't know. I was asking. I don't know either. Oh, I do Me know. Me either. I do know. I want to run 1,000 miles on Strava. I think I ran like Why? What did he miles. do to you? I know, right? Um, I want to run and I want to write a book. You can give that joke I credit. It's okay. I don't even get it. I'll, I'll it's a guy named Strava. He want to run 1,000 miles on him. Just picture you just like on a guy named Strava's face, and he's like, "Stop! Oh, my face!" Uh, and an you're app. like, "I got you, bitch! I know it app. was a joke." Maybe someone else will find it funny. <clears throat> Fuck you! <laughs> uh, thank you for checking in on me, though. I have not been. I wish I had pursuing my dreams and goals the way I would like. I found doodling, and I. It's almost like I found like a weird sex addiction. I just couldn't stop doodling. <laughs> yeah, once you find that, all, all hell's gonna break loose. Doodle. It's like uh, Emma Stone and poor things. Follow my doodles page, please. Don't ask him to do that. This is a Christian podcast. Hey, guys. I could use some love there. I like your use of Mac Miller quotes in those just to that remind people fun, he's right? dead. Uh, I'm like. Still feels fresh. That's the latest one I used. Uh, there was, I get a little dark. I like to be like, ooh, is she okay? Is she okay? No, they look like Arkham <laughs> Asylum cave drawings. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's dark. We don't need anything but today was the latest one, and I needed that in that moment. I was going through a weird time. I can't draw. I didn't know you could. Thank you. Like, the basic doodling. concept of a human body I can't put on a paper, and you nailed it. Thank you. I mean, I do, I do bring some photos in, and, and I do a little tracing. You know, I could never commit a crime with you because of how quickly you just snitched on yourself. I Imagine how quick you would I'm throw like, me under the I'm bus. Like Good, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's like you hate yourself so much, you won't let other people love you. Let's say I had huge fake tits, and someone's like, "Hey, you got listening? You got great (laughs) fake tits." I'd like there. That's what everyone would say to you as soon as you. Soon, imagine that was the first thing you heard when you woke up. I have great. You have great fake tits, and you just grab the surgeon by the head and go, "They're plastic." (laughs) Uh, I am not a crook. I don't know. I think it's just weird if you're like, "Oh, thanks." Like, if I have a fake bag, it's a fake bag. You know? If I have a fake nail, well, fake nail. Everything is fake or real. I glued these on today. These are glued on to my body. Are they? Yeah. 
You didn't glue them on. Someone a Taiwanese on. lady did. A nice lady glued these on. That's and what then I she said. She painted them Diet Coke gray. I, for some reason, I thought you were going to say Dyke gray. And I was like, that's just hitting two people on, on the brand. head. <laughs> for you, I know. Yeah, good job. I'm leaning in, ladies. It's so weird to think. Sign like, up. <laughs> sign up for dykes.com. Use promo code Fantasia for 10% off your next. They look almost periwinkle. I, I kind of like it. I just because think, you have no I choice now. You have prison off. wall gray for <laughs> two months. How long do those last? So you put a finger up a guy's ass? Yeah, and then I'm like, ew. When I had a finger in the ass, she had an acrylic on. Ew. Scratched up the like, walls bad. I, I will be vulnerable <laughs> with you guys. I don't like sticking my fingers in buttholes. It's I don't not either. For me. me either. That That's why I chose comedian and not proctology. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that is not the job I have a dream for. <laughs> I'm going to talk about I mean, it. a lot of people like a button, a finger butt thing. <laughs> well, like and having a finger in your ass and putting the finger in someone's ass, two very different things. Ugh, either way, I don't want to receive or, or You've never give. had a finger in your ass? Maybe once. And you said, not for me. I think I was wasted and I was like, what's happening? That's usually when it happens. That's when it happened to me. I was like, I remember I the date, July the 12th, right 2020. Hole. That'll happen too. I'm surprised it hasn't happened more. Just, the just amount of times you've been wasted alone. around men. <laughs> leave my butt alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the United States, leave my running mate's That's butt alone. There have been a lot of unfair <laughs> targets to this campaign, and I will not let my running mate's sphincter be an issue of presidency. Leave her butt hole alone. Thank you. I'm I mean, uh, JFK, and I approve this message. I'm saving it for years. me. I am having a uh, Cuban or a uh, missile crisis. I don't, I don't need it. Your butthole or to have a finger in it? All of it. You need your butthole. <laughs> Where's the food going to go? Finger that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give her a uh, colostomy bag and we can just move on from this whole subject. <laughs> she can sorry. do whatever she wants I to watched, with that bag watched, under the table. I watched way too many YouTube videos of a pregnant woman with a colostomy bag and I cannot Why? unsee what I saw. What is your Monday? <laughs> It was like a Thursday night. I had no plans. That makes it better. <laughs> Got to get ready for the weekend. Yeah. Oh, I had something to watch. Yeah. Ugh, go on YouTube. Wait a second. Yeah, it came up on my algorithm, and I saw a pregnant woman, and she was changing her bag. And I, look, I had just gone down a spiral of this girl, Delaney Glazer. She's a very beautiful dancer. And I watched her videos just like, I should step off my balcony. Because I will never be that hot or talented. And then I tapped out of her page after watching it for way too long. And then I saw this pregnant woman with the bag. And I was like, life is pretty chill. I'm fine. That's two bags she has. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just processing the story. Just rigmarole told. you went around there. So <laughs> do you like Delaney? or Love Delaney. Okay. Delaney Glazer. Shout out to Delaney Glazer. If anyone has a connection to Delaney Glazer, tell her I say hi. We love Joy. Delaney. She's you a what kind of dancer? Just a d hip hop. Loosen up she, my buttons, babe. She used to op or dance for Chris Brown. I actually saw her live oh, once. I well. did see Chris and Brown. And she Sorry. lived to tell the tale. Sorry. You uh, tell I people think that? he's a talented singer and dancer. Sure. OJ Simpson was a hell of a running back. That's all. I think what he did was wrong. I'd like to clarify that, but I do like his music. I'm Thank you. So your sorry. stance was wrong. I mean, your stance Anyways, was unclear. Delaney dan dances for him often. Uh, she's very talented. Big Instagram following. Follow her. Check her out. But don't watch for too long because you'll you'll be like, what am I doing? Why don't I have abs and a beautiful face and long blonde hair and can dance the be better than anybody on this planet? You know what you're doing? You're spreading your self hate to the listeners. It's naughty, though. I know, you were when you said, Delaney, Delaney, Delaney. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm like done. a cat with allergies. <laughs> I'm allergic to... Love or hate? I don't know. That's all. I'm done. Got it How did you get off on the Delaney tangent, and what did you connect it to? I don't know. You connected it to something. Buttholes. <laughs> oh, pregnancy colostomy bags. Yeah, we talked about buttholes, right. and then... And then I mentioned the colostomy bag. We're just doing a second act wrap up, ladies and gentlemen. I figure my colostomy bag at one point. Things just got a little. And out. your mother listens to this. She does. I think she'd like this episode. You'll get the text. It'll say, "I wish Troy cut out the whole butthole <laughs> bit," because I don't want to think of my Christian daughter's butthole getting she, fingered. She, Probably and came home and kissed her on the lips after that, or on the cheek. She was like, "That's I why I got. I had pink eye for that weekend." 
You ruined your day for all of us. No, but you gave it to your mom because you went home with butthole on your You're lips. You're the one with butthole on you. No, I, d- I have one on me right now. Yeah. Is that a cat? I feel like cats put their buttholes on everything. And they, every time they sit down, their little butthole touches you. Yeah, they're not wearing pants. Yeah. Just saying, you're the one. If I had nine lives, I wouldn't either. I'll put them on at some point. You. you think I'm wearing the same clothes I had on when I th- let the cat Probably. sit on me? That was last night. We're not living your life. You smell like yesterday. You don't have greasy fingerprints on my fridge. That is I will so not. upsetting. That's gross. That's little fat kid lives That here. guy who had the Ukraine flag out on your balcony is gone. I know. Finally, like, ripped up into a million pieces. Like, it just was... <sighs> just like Ukraine. The weather, the weather did that. It was hard, it was hard to watch. Like, that's disrespectful to that flag. Well... There's, like, people... That's why I'll never put a flag in my bio, even if I stand with that country, because at a certain point, the thing never gets solved, and your bio just gets hijacked. Like, that. I think Charlie D'Amelio's picture on TikTok was a Black Lives Matter logo mm. during 2020, and then, like... Still, is it still that? I think so, and she had to start a whole other TikTok account. Because of that? You can't ever change that. Well, you could. Everyone you could, but, you know, picks. it's TikTok. Everyone's going to jump down your throat. Whatever. They're about to ban it. Really? They might. Yeah, they're introducing a bill that uh, because they don't like that it's not separate from the Chinese government. Like the Chinese government is very much in control of what TikTok does. And TikTok is very secretive about that. Uh And so they are. I mean, it's been great for me. I've been very sympathetic to the Chinese Communist Party online and it has served my career ten. I got to pull up on TikTok before they take it away. Yeah, I think you have like the summer. I almost I almost bought something on TikTok shop and I was like I don't need to give the Chinese my credit card. That sounded racist. Did that? Did they cut that out? When you said it like that, I'm not giving no Chinaman my goddamn you digits. You made it seem like <laughs> it's the Chinese. You're the one government. who said the Chinese. Sorry, the Chinese government. Thank you. You just heard your own mistake on it. I'm not giving the goddamn <laughs> Chinese my credit card. That's what do you I do when you order wonton the soup? Government. I'll pay cash. Cash. That's fine. I, I don't love want a paper the trail. Chinese. Just not. The idea of them having your credit the card. The credit card information to the Chinese well, guess government. guess what? They have it. That's the clarification. They have like all of your information. You ever oh. buy anything online with your credit card? Whoops. Well, the Chinese have the digits, darling. I love the Chinese. I've been working in this I business for 40 years. Be the nice Chinese got your digits, babe. Please be nice. What don't you like about the Chinese? Shut up. <laughs> Get it out of your system I before Stop all. Asian Hate Month starts. Love it all. The food, the culture, the little... Dances they do. Oh man, you almost <laughs> had it until you said little dances they do. Oh, this is becoming a. Uh, you have to cut that out. No, we're keeping this all I in. I love. I love when. I okay, see okay, okay. Subject change. Subject <laughs> change. It's Texas was York. great. I might move there. Really, Austin. That seems to be where it's Everyone, happening. Yeah. Like I might live out my twenties, but I love New York too much. You always say you're gonna live in Jersey or. I don't love the crackheads in uh, this city. Well, you're moving. Not yet. Don't go up there. I'm not. I told you I'm not. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you were. No. You're not moving. No. Oh. Thank God. I hated the thought of you being so far. I liked it. Two bedrooms all to myself. You're not doing that at all? Oh, we'll have to talk offline. Unless you wanted to give your old address out. You no, it's my new. You going to move. Yeah, but it doesn't matter where I was going to. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. And that was going to be too far from where we are, lower in Manhattan. <coughs> That's all. Oh, I thought that was going to be interesting. Um, no. Well, I was going to give away both of our addresses. And yeah, dox yourself security. right now. This podcast is brought to you by Joey Rinaldi. Yeah. Uh, you have your DC show coming up. I was thinking about that at the gym that? earlier. <coughs> where is it now, March? <laughs> April, May, June, July, I'm August, doing, September. I'm headlining in Boston in June. Nick's Black Comedy ba- Stop. Right, right, right. Nick's Comedy Stop, June 15th <coughs> and 14th. I guess I should have said 14th and 15th. That would have been more normal. That's really. I knew I was going to sneeze. I was just trying to tee you up I'll to talk about that. Yeah. Are you excited about that? I am. I, it's my first time doing more than 20 minutes. What are you doing? I guess 45. You got it in you? Uh, I'll have to. <laughs> I'll take it. I will have to. I think I do. It, I mean, it might not be like the best thing in the world because it'll be my first time, but it'll be me. Like losing your virginity. Yeah. Longest you've ever mm-hmm. talked in your life, probably at one time. Forty-five minutes, right? Straight. The longest, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. This doesn't count. I do most of the heavy lifting on this. You're right. I saw you trying to justify. Well, it. I was thinking. I was like, I talk a lot. 
I know. I'm sure I've been on a date where they didn't talk much, and I was like, blah, 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 blah. Doing 45 ah. minutes on stage in front of... You're going to have, like, 13 people there who paid to see you. You don't want to waste their time. Honestly, the thought of 13 people paying money to see me is adorable, and I will take those 13 people. I know you will. I had a room with 200. I need TikTok to stay around, then I need to blow up on it. That's and not I the only way to blow up. What else can I do? Just stick around with me, kid. I help. That's no. true. You, get it, you got it because you're smart and you're you. Your audience finds you. Those things are just... Uh, it's like having a functional PlayStation but nowhere to plug it in. You know, you find somewhere to plug it in and broadcast the game out to everybody and then they play it with you. You just got to find the right TV for it. Yeah. It's so easy to be like, oh, if only I could just get an audience on this or that or this or that. Like, those things happen for me because I wasn't paying attention to them. I'd still be doing the same thing if I wasn't, I didn't have any notoriety on social media. If I wasn't the guy from YouTube shorts or from TikTok or from Reels or whatever. I'd still That's be doing the same I'm thing. I'm like, I have the same platform. I don't have as much talent. We know that. But I have the same tools in my shed. Why can't I nope. make them Different work for shed. Because I have a different shed. Mine's better. Mine has a cooler in it. I'm you so have a bucket so of ice. That I get to share my couch with you right now. Reeled it back to you. Didn't you? Thank you for the couch. <laughs> I sat on it many podcasts before. One time I walked myself out of the house and you let me sweep on it, but I just whoa. You did just right. After a bad date. I came you to Tori's. You liked that date. Bad date in hindsight. Oh, in real sight, you were like, I'm in love. I am a romantic Cole for the first 20 As hours. Am I. For now, I'm it's not always, one for the long. The first date's always fun. Yeah, I had a good first and date, and then I came <laughs> home. Well, <laughs> sorry, it is. I shouldn't manifest it's that. I will find someone that meant. loves me one day. They're gonna love me. You shouldn't so manifest much. that. That's a death sentence. They're man. gonna love me so much, <laughs> and yep. it'll be mutual. <laughs> Keep going with your date story, though. I'm just gonna call this episode "Throw It in Your Face." I, I was listening. Because even when you throw it to me, you go, "Keep going with your date story." <laughs> This is a volley. Keep going. That's it's a fine. volley of a Molotov cocktail. Ah, I'm on fire! <laughs> ah, why would you throw that? It's very dangerous. It's a nice volley. Turn me into a 40s bad guy. Ah! I'm, I'm a dying chihuahua. No, I'm a helicopter. Oh, now I'm crashing. Ah, my wife. Now the EMTs, underwater EMTs, chief sitting bull. I'd like to hear about your date. You did that night, didn't you? Morning? Morning, yeah, you said it was fun. That was it? Okay, I thought you wanted to talk about it. Why would you think that? Whatever. What part of me going into that whole bit made, me, made you think I was volleying that up to you? What was your last date? Or we wind and dined proper date. Wind and dined properly. Oh, I thought you were gonna take me to catch. I no, am. That's not romantic, but that's that would be that was something I was looking forward to. I am, but between your schedule and my schedule, we haven't been able to lock it in. Last but when I come oh, back from Europe, I'll take you to catch. I was wind and dined. Did you hear me? What? I knew you didn't hear me. Did when I come back from, from yes, okay. I'd love that. All right. What? But then I'll be gone, and then you're in Grand Rapids. I come back on Monday. It's a quick trip to Europe. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're in Annapolis, and then we're in Portland, and then we're in Arizona. Okay, well then, wait, nice. that's uh, at Portland is this month? It's next month, but it's coming okay. right up. So we, yeah, we got like three more weeks, whatever. I mean, time's ripping, man. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, Anyways, slipping. Ba- best last is thing? Portland where they had the tents outside of our hotel room? Yeah. Damn. Forgot about that. When did we go? <coughs> Sorry, uh, I looked at story. We're going back a year later. We went in June. Mm-hmm. Wow. End of June. Really? And then that was like the last date, and then we went on break for July, right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'll let you get back to your story. You sound like an abused kid. Pretty much, yeah. June. No, I was I was thinking about it because I- You got wined and dined. I did get really nicely wined and dined, but then I drank so much, I threw up in my own bed. 
When was this? November. How did it? <laughs> it was so bad. I never heard about this. Yeah, I know. You never <laughs> asked. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it was a really lovely day. You never told me. We Nothing. We got a drink at the Roxy, and then he picked this beautiful Italian restaurant, and we had a really nice meal, and we sat there for like four hours and talked, but we had been sitting there for so long, and I was keeping up with him. And then next thing I know, I woke up, and I had to Fellas, this is a reminder to ask your co-host if she's been getting any lately. Yeah. But then- we And she'll tell you, yeah, four months ago. a few more times, and then it ended. And he's, we're friends. It's, it was nice overall, but- but it was annoying because that was the first date. You can't do you can't do dinner and drinks on a first date because then it Why was not? like because it was so perfect. We did it on my first date that I was telling you about. Not we, that first date that I was coming from that night. Yeah, I locked myself out of the ended. apartment I because she told me she loved me. Way into the she told me she loved me on the first day, and that's she was lot. like five years younger than me. So I think that's what right. get did it in. Anyways, I think you just, just five years just is okay, right? I'm 28. She was like dinner. 23, I think. Whatever. I just think you got to go a little slower. Cause we Is just that okay? I'm asking. Oh, no, 28, 22? Yeah, no. Everyone's dating younger. The thing. First time I've dated younger. You know me. I usually date older. Yeah. I did not like it. I was like, I'm going to have to share my toys with her. Yeah. You, since you want your action figures? No, but I asked her to play Batgirl in my movie that I oh, was right. doing, and she never got back to me. Well, that would have been fun. So I'm just going to have to show her when my Batman movie comes out. I can't wait. I still Vicky Vale. I'm so proud of you for remembering that. I'm gonna play this into an episode of Secret Identity. You want to say anything to Secret Identity fans? Hey guys, please keep watching Bonding because I'm insecure. <laughs> you could say this is her kryptonite. <laughs> I think it's funner to be honest. I I just funner is that what you said? I don't know what I said. You know you said funner, and you don't want to admit it. Honesty, right now, because you don't mean any of the shit you're saying. No, I do. I do love bonding. We haven't done it in so long. I'm having. I know, so I do too. Is there anything yeah, you want to cover? Fun. I'm having a great time, Donkey. I'm having a good time. No, that's, I think we covered it all. Join us next week, where we're gonna put chocolate pudding on Tori's nipples, and I'm gonna sign us off with my big old dingus, octopus teacher. Anything you want to plug? Your show, June. Austin, 15th I'm and in 16th. Boston, June 14th and 15th mm. at Nick's Comedy Stop. And then I got another headlining show in D.C. in November, so that's in a while. But, I mean, I'll, I mean, I could use bodies. I'd love you to be there. She could um, use a body to wind and And then I am trying to start a podcast, but it's really hard. This stuff is not easy. Like You can listen to her podcast when she gets the motivation to get it going. all these crazy buttons. <laughs> She's been flicking the same clip for 31 years. Um, Happy birthday, by the way. It was Tori's yeah, birthday last week. Yeah, March 2nd. So, two weeks ago. I'm so... I felt like shit when I realized I... I knew you were busy. No, I switched up your days. Yeah. I thought Your birthday was Saturday? Yeah. And I reached out to you Sunday? It's okay. And it was I know you love me. Yeah. I was still a little sad. I got over Dude, it. I switched my days up. I know, I know, I know. I get it. I know what you mean. Yeah. Boy, you don't have to, apparently. Troy left me a very beautiful voice note that I was actually pretty happy I have recorded. I wasn't, I didn't have my phone on me, and I was like, oh man. And then I listened, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do this forever. <laughs> Big old cock. Proof that you love me. If you ever are mad at me, I'm just going to play that. I love you. I love you. Happy birthday. I love you. I'm like, oh, no, I, proof. Didn't, I didn't say that. Proof. I did not say he that. He loves me. I didn't say that. I said, hey, Tori, how are you? Hey, What's you up? Work? What's new? Hey, you little bitch, you little stupid bitch with your Gucci flip flops. I'm hit you with a switch. You're 31 now, which means your eggs are going to dry up. They're going to dry up. Sunny side up. Dry it up. Got to get someone to fuck and fuck, but not pull out just like a couch. I don't want to squirm. Kids for a squirm. While. <laughs> Get yourself a turkey baster and a jar of cum. Get some turkey baster and a jar of cum. Put your jar of cum inside right, of the you freezer. Thank you for listening, guys. 12 inch version of that song will be out I next week. I love everybody who listens to this. I do too. And thank um, you for being patient with us. <sighs> almost <laughs> made it. Here's me with some promos. so remedial doing that. Do it again.
Oh, that's what remedial means. Prove my point. <laughs>